Welcome back everyone, this is Nick, and in this video we're going to start animating our rocket and put it into our main scene with the clouds. So, uh, as I mentioned before, the rocket animation is probably going to be the most complicated, so this will be a couple of videos I think, but the first thing we want to do is add our animation player to animate the flames themselves. So the rocket is actually going to use both flames sort of animated in the sort of normal way and particles. Um, but under my animation player, I'm going to click on new and we'll just call this flames. And this is going to be pretty short because the flames are going to move kind of quickly. So I'll just give this a half a second timing and we'll add a track for the flames node, which is the group of all the individual sprites and click OK. And I'm going to animate the scale here. Click open. And so for this group, I'm going to go into transform, keyframe, the start scale, and then since this will be looping, we'll put that in the middle somewhere, and actually you can change your snap resolution here so you can get exactly in the middle. And then I think, let's see what this looks like. For the Y scale, we'll do 1.11, 1.2. <laughs> We'll see what that looks like. We'll keyframe that, and then we'll just, oh, got to make sure it's looping, and we also want it to start as soon as the scene starts, and we'll play that. Not too bad. I think it could go a little bit quicker, so I can change this to, let's say, point, point 0.4. Put that back in the middle. There we go, I think that works. Just some basic flames coming out the back. All right, so I'm actually gonna turn those off for now because we'll come back to those later. So the next thing I wanna do is actually set up the main timing for the rocket launch itself. So coming back to my main scene, I'm finally gonna add my rocket to my main scene. So as a child of the main scene, I'm gonna instance a child scene and it will be the rocket. And I want to drag that rocket to where its start position will be. Somewhere in the middle there. I think that looks good. So I also want my rocket to be behind my cloud group up here. So I can either drag this group in front of the rocket or below it in the scene tree, or I can drag the rocket up uh, behind or above it in the scene tree, but I just dragged it to the bottom here. So now when my rocket is, oops, when my rocket is taken off, it should be behind the clouds. And I like that effect. Okay. So as I mentioned, we want to set up the main sort of timing here and we're going to use another animation player and we'll call this rocket launch. This is going to control the position of the rocket. So, for this animation player, we're going to create a new animation. We'll just call it launch. And I think I want this whole animation to take, let's say 10 seconds. So from the ground into space. So we'll say 10 seconds. We're gonna add a track here for the rocket. Click OK, and we're going to animate its position. And we want to keyframe that start position. Click on the keyframe button for the position. And then let's see. So if you've ever seen a rocket launch in the beginning, it kind of moves slower and then it picks up speed. So I think from, let's say, one, two, three seconds, the rocket isn't going to move that far. Let's say from one to three it makes it about there. And then we'll keyframe that position. And then from three seconds all the way to the end, it's completely up in space. So we'll move it all the way to the top. And let me check to make sure it's sort of centered-ish inside my space color rect. That looks fine. Uh, and then I'll actually make sure to keyframe that position. So. Let me play that back and click 
play. We can see sort of slower in the beginning as it takes off. Boom. And then it picks up speed a little bit and makes it all the way out into space. So this is not going to be a looping animation because we only want the rocket to take off one time. Um, but anyway, so this is going to be our main timing for the rocket. So any other sort of animations we'll do in the rocket scene need to take place within this 10 second time frame. So what's going to happen here is between zero and three seconds, I'm going to use particles to give the sort of rocket exhaust a really smoky effect. And then from three seconds all the way to about eight and a half or nine seconds, we're going to turn on the flames that we just animated in the rocket scene. And then once the rocket is in space, we're going to turn off the flames. So let's actually take a look at how to do that. So I'm going to add a particles 2D node to my rocket scene. And there we go. Um, so in my particles 2D, I'm going to set the texture as my little smoke PNG that I drew. And then under process material, you want to add a new particles material, and then you should start seeing your particles move around. So I'm going to play with these settings to try to get it to look like rocket exhaust and then show you what my settings are. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got something that kind of looks like rocket exhaust and let me show you my settings here. Um, so under time, my lifetime is set to five. Under drawing, my local coordinates is turned off. And basically what that means is whenever you move the rocket, the particles are gonna create a trail behind it, which looks pretty good. Um, under process material, there's a few things. I've turned off the gravity. The emission shape is a box with 100 um, pixels on either side of the x-axis. The scale is 0.75 with a little bit of randomness thrown in there. And the main thing here is the color. So basically over the course of the life of the particle, the color changes from sort of yellow to orange to white, and then it fades out to nothing. So I tried to get the colors to look like the flames because the flames are gonna turn on when the particles turn off. And I kind of want the particles to look like those flames. But anyway, if you don't really know what each one of these things does, trust me, I don't even know what each one of these things does in the sort of particles inspector, you can really just play around with them and see what you get because you can come up with some cool stuff. Um, anyway, so now that my particles are kind of set up, let's take a look and see what this looks like in my rocket launch animation. So uh, I'm gonna hit play and there we go. Speeds up and then it goes all the way into space and then it stops, great. So now we're gonna make some changes to the way the particles are animated as well. So, uh, as I said before, I kind of want my rocket to move a little bit slow until it hits about three seconds and then the regular flames turn on and pushes it into space. So I want my particles to be on from zero to three seconds and then turn off. So I'm gonna add another track here to the particles themselves. Click OK. And the thing we're gonna be animating is the emitting property. Click OK. So for particles 2D, I'm gonna turn emitting off at the beginning of the animation and keyframe that. And then right at point one, as soon as the rocket starts to move, I wanna turn them back on and click the keyframe button for that. And then between there and three seconds, that's what it's gonna look like. I want my emitting to be on, so I'll keyframe that. And then 1.1 second after that, I want it to turn off again. So I'm gonna click emitting to off and keyframe that. There we go. So you can already see the particles are on and then they turn off. As soon as the rocket launches, boom, we get some nice particles. And then they turn off when the other flames are supposed to turn on. So let's take a look at how to turn on those other flames. To do that, I want to go back to my rocket scene 
and in my animation player here well actually you know what i'm going to add another animation player because this additional animation player will sync up with the timing of the animation player on our sort of main cloud scene and for this we'll just call this flame well we'll just call this timing new let's call it timing and this will be the same as the other animation the other animation player rather 10 seconds uh, so as we can see here our particles are on between basically 0 and 3 and after 3.1 seconds we want our other flames to turn on so I'm going to add a track for the flames group here and we're going to modify or animate the visibility so it's currently not visible and that's what I want it to be in the beginning so under visibility make sure it's off keep in that and then at 3.1 we want to turn it on and then have it on until about let's say eight and a half seconds keyframe that and then 0.1 second after that turn it right back off there we go so that should sync up nicely with our previous uh, timings on the main scene and just double checking to make sure my flames animation the animation that's actually going to make the flames look like they're moving is going to play it is great so we can stop that make sure my flames are off at the beginning of the animation and there we go so because the animation that controls the timing of when these flames turn on is in another scene so our main scene has our main rocket launch animation but our rocket scene has the flames sort of timing we need to use a little bit of scripting to access the flames in this other scene while we're controlling the animation in this main scene so you can see we can scrub through this animation and the particles work but the other flames don't so in order to do that we're actually going to add a script so i've already added just a basic blank script here but we're going to use the script to access the timing animation player in the rocket scene from the main scene so in the script i want to say on ready var just call it rocket timing equals rocket and we can say that because the rocket scene is in the main scene which is where our script is but in order to access a node that's within that rocket scene we want to say rocket dot get node timing and that's how we get the animation player that's in the rocket scene itself so for now in our ready function we want to start the timing animation which if you remember has the flames in it at the same time that the sort of main rocket launch animation starts so under ready we're going to say rocket spell rocket right timing dot play i think i called it timing i did there it is so that has the pink flames so this is going to play that animation right when the scene starts so we'll save that if we go to 2d here back to our main scene um, we actually can't see it until we play the scene so we're going to make sure that the rocket launch animation starts as soon as the scene plays and hopefully if we did that correct we will see the particles start and then the flames start as well so let's take a look and see what that looks like rocket launching and flames turning on there we go so i want to do one more thing because we can't actually see our rocket anymore so i'm going to attach a camera to the rocket so we can follow it into space so back in our main scene here under my rocket scene I'm going to add a child node, a camera 2D. 
and I want to make sure that camera is centered on the rocket. So I'm going to move it. So make sure it's in frame there. There we go. And make sure camera 2D is selected. And then I'm going to click current. So that way it will actually follow. So I'm going to save that and we'll play that scene. And we should be able to see our rocket launch all the way into space. Launching. Flames turn on. There we go. Looks pretty good. All right. So that's the basics of animating the rocket. We're going to come back in the next video and add some details, add our planet back in, and add some stars. So thank you, everyone, for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.